Hey everyone, in the last tutorial uh, I showed you how to set up some gull and flea volumes so that your fish that we're making will react more like fish and run away from dangers and run towards uh, things that they're interested in. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add different colours to your fish like this one. Um, in this example I'm just using hue saturation to kind of colour these fish. Uh, you can see if I come over here, this is in the demonstration level included in the project. I can kind of change hue and it changes the colour of them all. Saturation makes them you know, uh, coloured or desaturated. And then value, kind of same thing, brightness. So these are, you know, these are examples of um, parameters that you can set up in your materials. You can actually pass whatever you want to your uh, fish material. Uh, so to do this I'm going to uh, go ahead and just duplicate this hue saturation material uh, just as a demonstration. And I'm going to go back to my level over here that we've made. Uh, I'm going to remove this flea and gull volume just for this tutorial. So the first thing that we want to do, um, just so that we don't forget, is apply our new material to our fish over here. Uh, I'll just delete that for now. Uh, so if I open up this material, you can see we've got per instance custom data nodes. And what these are is you can pass individual values to each instance of our of our fish that are flying around here. So for instance, this one is number 3, 4, and 5, which will be hue, saturation, and value. So where we define these is in default custom values over here. So if I add a new default custom value, you can see that I get um, a value parameter here, and I get a random range if I want a random range. So for the first one, uh, hue will change you know, the color of all the fish. So let's use a random between 0 and 1 for hue. Saturation. Going to go ahead and set this to... Let's just set it to 1 for this example with no randomness. Same with value. So we've set up our, our values for what we're going to be passing to our materials. So we'll get random 0 to 1 for hue for every fish. And then we'll get 1 for saturation and 1 for value. So they should all be have a saturation of, and value of 1. Uh, up here we need to define number of custom data values, which should match the number of values that you have in here. So we have 3, so this is set to 3. Uh, you'll see just above this one, we have plugin reserved custom data values. So the plugin actually reserves some of these data values for future work in animation, for example. Uh, so, for now, there's three of them that have been reserved. I don't think there'll be any more reserved in the future, so that should be pretty safe. What that means, though, is that when we refer to these, we need to offset them by three. So we've got three, four, and five, and, you know, these will map to our zero, one, two over here, because they're all offset by three. So if we press play now, we should see some nice coloured fish got a nice rainbow color happening in here and we can go ahead and change these values we can make you know these random for instance we can drop this to like 0 0.7 if we want them to be less bright or we can you know cut out half of the colors by setting this to 0 to 0 0.5 and we can only get half the colors in there so you can actually use custom data values for more than just colors, you can um, pass whatever you want to the material and get different values per uh, per fish in our scene here. And you can also set these by blueprints if you want to change them at runtime as well. Uh, so that's pretty much all that I wanted to cover for setting up some fish flocks. Um, in the next tutorial, uh, we're probably going to have a look at how we can make multiple of these um, and have you know, the 
because currently they're kind of all just grouping into one, we can actually separate them so that there's a few of these flocks flying around the scene at the same time. So I'll see you in the next video where we talk about that, and thanks for watching.